Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So I have been talking about this a lot many times and especially before exams and because uh, you just have few days for your gate exam, almost about two weeks for the gate exam. So this I think is the right time to remind you about it that you should be giving test series. Okay. Now it's not only about giving test series because I have, I have experience of teaching for about five plus years now for gate and CSR net and I have found students uh, complaining about this that they have uh, like they have given some test series or they have attempted test series and they were getting good marks in that but still in exam they were not able to perform. So here I am going to talk about that what exactly you can do uh, and how you can utilize test series in the most effective way so that it reflects in your exam also it reflects in your marks also. So I am going to talk about how to use or how to utilize uh, test series so that it can enhance your score and you can get good marks in the gate exam okay so everything i'm going to talk about here from the perspective of gate exam considering that exam into mind so you can apply the same thing on csr net but because gate is quite near so we'll be talking about that all right so let's start with it so first of all there are three major factors which i believe a test series helps you okay because see there are so many questions out there there are previous years questions there are gate question, CSR net question, so many things are there. You study them, you prepare with them, you solve them, you do so many things with those uh, previous years question and that I believe is always the first step. So once you study the concept, once you understand the concept, the next step is to go and solve previous years question. That is no doubt that is the correct approach. But after that, once you are done with previous years question, you have to move forward and you have to now search for new questions. Now new questions it is difficult to find especially uh, multiple choice questions because there are not much platforms or there are not much places which offer you new questions even if you are ready to pay okay. So over there a test series comes into action or a test series can be an alternative. So what does a test series uh, does? So a test series uh, basically or a mock test it goes on it should be uh, uh, like it should be applicable on three factors or three uh, like pedestals the first one is that it should have new questions it should not have just previous years question just randomly arranged no that is not going to help you much that you have already done with previous years question right that is first thing second thing is that its interface should be quite similar to the exam which you are going to give so if you are going to give a csr net exam or if you are going to give a gate exam which are technically computer based tests so these mock tests or these test series should also be uh, like computer based test or they should also have a similar interface okay where you get question on one panel you get uh, like uh, like the question numbers on the other panel so that interface should be quite similar and the third thing is that it should give you some uh, time limit or it should help you to do the overall test in a limited time and it should also be able to give you answers of that after solving the test uh, the test series or after giving a test you should be able to understand your uh, like mistakes okay so these three factors are there where i believe a test series should stand and that's why we have created a test series we have launched our own test series on our own app i guess you are already aware about it in case if you are not aware about so we have our own app all about chemistry and over there we have launched our own test series in that test series all these three parameters are being checked apart from that you get more of it you get previous years questions as well and uh, you get access to uh, solution video solution of those tests so i'll be talking about that a little late but yeah in case if you are interested for that download the app and uh, this test you can also give in on your pc so that you can get the same exam like experience okay so you can also give this mock test or test series on uh, app also or you can give it on uh, your pc or laptop okay fine let's get back to this so what are the things you should uh, like how you should actually utilize this test series or what is the correct way of using this test series okay so it's not like just sitting and just randomly doing some questions of these tests and just trying to you know uh, trying to be uh, like just randomly giving it that is not going to help you in any way it might just give you some new questions some new ideas but it is not going to help you or it is not going to affect uh, your performance that much so what is the correct way the correct way is to first of all cover your concepts do previous years question as I said and then take out time at least three hours if you are not able to get three hours completely free at least you should be having two and a half hours or two hours 
so that you can sit and relax and you can give those two hours or three hours dedicatedly to this test i would recommend to take out three hours completely it can be late in the night when nobody is around nobody is going to disturb you uh, if it can be early in the morning when nobody is disturbing you i am saying nobody is disturbing you because many of you might be studying at home or might be you know residing at your home and uh, in between of your studies you might get some work to do somebody might ask you to do something or the other so you can't ignore that also okay but as i said that you have to take out these three hours and these three hours you don't have to you know daily do this just uh, i would say just after a gap of three days you can do that because you don't have much days now so four tests you can plan in that way after two days or after three days you sit for three hours and dedicatedly dedicatedly give this particular test series okay just dedicate those three hours for these tests start from question number one and uh, these mock tests which i was talking about this test series which i was talking about in, on our app it has the whole pattern is actually designed according to gate exam you have those 10 questions of general aptitude first and then you have chemistry question just like you get in the gate exam in the same way you get numerical answer type question also you get multiple selective questions also you get mcqs also in the same pattern how you get in the gate exam so that's why i said we have tried to provide you the quality content so that it mimics exam okay so that part will be done if you dedicatedly give three hours of your study and give this particular mock test now once you have given this mock test what are the things which you have to take care of first of all that in between of the mock test you don't have to you know turn back your notes and see the formula and try to solve a question or uh, turn back your notes and see a concept and try to solve question no be honest with yourself go with question number one whatever answer you feel like uh, or take a rough notebook just like you get in the exam a rough sheet try to solve the question and mark the answer okay and in that way once you are done with the test it will give you a score it will tell you how much you were correct how accurate you were how many answers you have done incorrect and then you will get the video solution of that okay now what you have to do you have to go through the uh, the questions which you have done wrong before watching the video solution okay before watching the solution you have to now go through the questions which you have done incorrect and now you have to analyze what mistake you were you have done like what was because sometimes what happens that during the time or during the time when you are sitting in the exam uh, you're you're not able to understand what concept you have to apply but once you are out of that uh, that particular scenario or you can say once you are out of that pressure at that time your mind works a little bit more and then you realize oh i should have done like that so if that is the case mark those questions okay and then you have to watch the video solution of only those questions which you have done wrong so that it does not waste much of your time you can effectively go along with that and video solutions are also separated like you will get a video solution of uh, general aptitude separately then one marks question separately and then two marks question separately you can skip or you can just you know like scroll down a little bit and watch the solution over there that's how you can take out the benefit of it one more thing which you have to take care and that is what your test series or this particular test series is going to help you is you should be using the calculator provided over there either you can use the calculator provided in the interface itself that is also scientific calculator or i would recommend you to provide or to download a gate calculator on your mobile phone and try to use that calculator to solve because in gate calculator is allowed and they provide gate calculator which is available very easily on the web you just have to search on your chrome browser just search gate calculator and you will get the calculator so use that calculator without your keypad use it with the mouse because in the exam also you won't be having access uh, for your keyboard okay you will be only having access with the mouse so you should be you should have the practice of all the things so that in the exam when you sit you should not panic about this that uh, how i am going to do that or you it will just give you idea that whether these three hours are enough for you or not so three things you can get out from here okay the first thing is that whether your preparation is enough or not you will be able to see that uh, after the analysis like how many questions you are doing incorrect how many concepts you are missing out there might happen that a concept you have studied you think that you have understood that concept but when a question is asked from that concept you are missing that okay so you have to like write down that particular thing so let's say if there was a question on john teller distortion and it was asked in a twisted manner or it was some exceptional case asked in the exam so you have to write it down so that it remains in your muscle memory when you write something it just only does not you remember it by visual memory it also goes to, to your mind through your muscle memory okay so in that way you will remember that concept and if it is asked in exam you will be able to do that that is one thing second thing is it is going to help you to understand whether these 
uh, whether you are not able like whether these three hours are enough for you or not whether you are not uh, whether you are able to solve the whole question paper in these three hours or not so that is going to help you when you are going to sit in the exam you won't be missing out questions it won't happen that at the end of the exam you think that okay i was not able, even able to uh, you know uh, read all the questions so there are total 65 questions in exam and you should be able to attempt all of them within these three hours okay so the first thing which the mock test has given you is uh, to realize make you realize about how much concept you know okay second thing is about time management it has helped you to manage your time and the third thing is it will give you exam like experience exam like feeling so that when you sit in the exam it won't be something really new for you so if in case you have never given a computer based test this will be a you can say a pre exam kind of thing where you will be able to like you will be familiar with the interface and when you sit in the exam it will be super easy for you to uh, you know uh, do questions over there as well so it is really very important to you know it's just not that you purchase a test series and you uh, you just give that test series or you just attempt that test series randomly or something that is not going to help in the exam if you really want to get good marks if you want to enhance your marks you have to give this or you have to utilize this technique you have to utilize the test series in the best possible way okay see i don't know how you guys approach to the, to the things but it's my approach that if i pay for something i want to take out the best out of it and i want to you know i want that thing should serve the purpose what i have paid for that so if i have paid for uh, a test series and i want that test series to help me in the exam i will do my best over there so that it can like i can take the best out of there and i can use that in my exam all right so that's all about this video i just wanted to give you a reminder of it because many student right now also they are just reading they are just you know under they are just reading the notes they are just making the notes they are reading new new concepts they are uh, going behind uh, new topics which were added and all those things but i will tell you that this is not the time now to read more and more it is the time to uh, like whatever you have studied you have to now understand that whether uh, that is enough for you or not for the exam okay by giving these test series and all and one very important note i want to give you very important note that never get disheartened by the score which you get from the test series uh, the test series level is generally kept a little higher than the exam okay G generally it is kept a little higher so that uh, it becomes a little challenging for you okay we always want our our kids to be prepared for a, a, a little bit more harsh situation so that when they really have to go through that particular phase it seems easy for them okay so that's what we also have done the test series has been kept a little bit higher over the exam level but don't get disheartened by the score which you are getting if the score is very low don't get disheartened uh, you just have to focus on the other two things the time management thing and the interface thing and also if you are able to learn new things it will be a quicker way to learn new things rather than you know making notes and sitting and you know reading about the older notes so try to utilize this for the next few days and i believe that this is going to definitely help you in your exam and i believe that any one of you who is going to utilize it and i have seen this i have told this earlier also on my youtube channel and many students have comment commented over there that sir this has definitely helped us and it has boosted our marks it has helped us to gain confidence for the exam so it's all from their review i'm telling you okay so please be prepared with it give the mock test sit for the exam and all the best for you and try to utilize the test series or the mock test in the best possible way that's all from me from my side for this particular video see you guys the next one until then take care bye bye